Hi everyone. So I am doing a sale. I picked up another really good, uh, kind of a much smaller estate sale than my last one um, down in South Tampa. So <laughs> it's way too much uh, material. And so I am trying to just lighten the load because again, it was a lot like 350 yards of lacy material. Like I got 350 yards of this pink lace material and five other colors. <laughs> so it was a lot. Uh, and when I picked it up, I thought I was getting like the small spools that you normally get at Hobby Lobby. And when I went, it was these huge, huge rolls um, that an Etsy seller had. And uh, she had closed her shop, so I was just, I was in shock. So I thought, hey, this is the perfect time to do a sale. And I needed to kind of weed out also that last estate sale that I had gotten that um, I was so fortunate to get. Um, because my fabric stash has just gotten, you know, too big. So that's what is sitting right here. Uh, I have six of these. They're identical. Uh, except for um, a couple of the appliques and I will try to point that out as we're going through it um, but otherwise everything is exactly the same and this is going to be $22.50 shipped and I'm doing it differently this time so it's not coming in the USPS flat rate um, because those have just gotten way too expensive so I figure I'm just going to Go to the post office this time around and have them calculate the least expensive method for shipping. So just keep that in mind. These are not coming priority mail uh, like most of you are used to me doing with my sales. Uh, if you want to claim a lot, again, I have six of these. So if you want to claim a lot, please email me at the email address that I'm going to provide down below uh, this video. Just hit that arrow down for the drop down box. And give me your PayPal email and that you want to claim one of these lots. And I will shoot you an invoice. Please pay the invoice promptly. And... Uh, I think that's it. These will go out on Monday. So this is Friday night. These will go out on Monday. Um, and I think that's it. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to try to go through this really quickly, which is saying a lot for me. So the first are these two appliques right here that are built into this netting. This is from that original last estate sale that I had. Really pretty. If you love working with trims and appliques, this is definitely the thing for you. Here is just a section of some more fabric that you can cut apart and use the different appliques or just keep it intact and fold it over in a book. And um, what do I want to do? Oh, I did. I'm just including also just a little bitty square of this very soft fabric right here with the very pale pink pale pink roses all over it and I guess I'll just get into well let me do this first then there are a dozen of these large um, doilies and then the connector pieces. There's also 12 and 12. Yeah, there's 20, 24. So two dozen of each of the larger ones and then the inner connector pieces as well. Um, I have these appliques right here, these ivory leaves. And there are six of those. This Battenberg lace, a lot of this is vintage. Again, this is from that estate sale from that older lady that I scored on. Some more Battenberg, this is like a collar piece. Another little lacy collar piece. This applique here. This one here. 
These are so cute. It's got like the little puffy piece right here. This dimensional flower. This is so pretty. Um, I have to kind of separate this so I can... I forgot how many of these I have. Everything's gotten kind of mixed up now. I believe I have two of these. Again, everything's not organized. Yes, I have two of these. Right here. Hopefully you can see those. It's hard to tell in the viewfinder here. I have a yard of this ombre lace. It has that blushy beige color that goes into a very pale it's kind of got a yellow tint to it, beigey yellow. Anyway, so there's a yard of that. There is a yard of this one. I don't know if that's doing a very good job of showing it, so I'm just going to pull it up here. Um. There's this applique piece. I really needed a darker background. <laughs> I really should have gotten a darker background. I'm doing white on white, and that's not doing it justice. Um, I have a few of these appliques right here. These are great, too, because you can cut these apart for the flowers, and then you still have the little swirly piece there. Um, one, two, three. I had quite a few of those. Four. five, six, and I think that's it. There were six of those. Then, I forgot how many of these. I think there are six of these, too. Goes this way. Two. Three. Some of this stuff you're going to have to iron, too, when you get it, because I, of course, was not going to take the time to do that. On all these lots. One, two, three, no, there's no, four, five of these. I might find another one in here. I'm not sure. Um, now, here's the thing that's going to be different. So each piece is going to have also a um, beaded applique, but all the beaded appliques are different, okay? So I just wanted to point that out. And, um, this is, it's, it's bridal, what am I trying to say? It's like a bridal, it was cut from the bridal dress. Um, and so anyway, there's five that I have and they're all different. So just keep that in mind. I don't want you to think everybody, all the, all the ones. And please don't ask me to, oh, I want the one that has that one because these are all getting mixed up and I'm not going to know what's in what. It's going right in the envelope. They're just all different. <laughs> There's this applique. Um, this one. I have a few that are shaped like this, but they're all diff they're different. Um, these are all the same. No, nope, there's a bigger one there. Hold on, I'm trying to get it sorted here. Um, is that the same? Yes, that's the same. Okay, so there are four of these appliques right here. Everything's sticking to each other. And then, yeah, there's difference in size. So there's two of these. These are so pretty. There are two of these. And then there's a smaller version of that right here. So it looks the same, but it's smaller. And then I have, a, I'd say there are, are just under two yards or under a yard of this. I can't remember. 
Um, there's quite a few of these. Again, you'd have to, you're going to have to iron it. Let me get a better piece shown right here. So it's got like this fan look right here. I want to say this is the one that's like almost two, just under two yards of that. Because I found more of that when I was going through my stuff, so I included more. Oh, see, there is another one. So there's six of those. Ah, uh, let me find it. So I can get them all together, at least when I pack it up. Okay. Um. Then there is... I think I have more of these, too. I don't know if I already showed one of those. But anyway, there's that. Maybe not. I think that was it. There was only one of those. Uh, this piece right here. And then I have one, two, three, four, five of these cute little flower appliques right here. There's a close up. And then there is this right here. So you've got like three that you can cut apart here on this applique right here. Oh, come on, Kim. Can you see that? There we go. I'm trying to get it in here. I think I'm too close to the camera when I was doing that. Hopefully you saw all that. Okay, and then I'm also including some colored um, co some colored laces because, again, this was the part of the new sale that I got. Um, I'm also incru including a yard of all these different metallic trims that I had gotten. So let's just start there with that. So there is this white and gold braided the black and gold braided again a yard of each and then this red that's got striped with the gold a gold that shot through with white which you can hardly even see in there straight up gold right here a gold little um, Fringed, couldn't think of the word. The gold rickrack. Just a straight up gold ribbon. Another gold, um, like a Chinese, it's not really a Chinese braid, but it kind of has that look. And then we get into the silvers. There's a silver fringe, silver ribbon. This is not as wide as that gold ribbon was. Some like Chinese looking, Chinese braid looking trim. And then the silver rickrack. And then I have three yards of this pink lace this is a very stiff <laughs> blue blue lace Here, let me if you can see that better now this is only two, uh oh is this two yards or one two i think yeah these are two yards this purple right here I don't know if that's doing a good job of showing the color this blue this fuchsia this wine colored um, ruffle trim right here this is another wine color this is that Etsy store closure that 
part of that. That's again that same wine color. This is throwing it off, I think. There you go. The lighting is bad too. I waited later tonight. I should have done this earlier in the day when I had daylight back here in my craft room. Um, this really pretty yellow one. Got all colors of the rainbow in this too, along with your ivories and creams here. And then this really pretty like aqua aqua blue color. This one is really pretty and wide. Um, two yards of that. Oh, here's another navy. This is the tr a fringe. A fringe trim. Um, and then this is the only other thing that's different too. So there's two appliques that are different. One that beaded one in the ivories. And then there's going to be some kind of another applique included. They're all different colors and different shapes too. So there's that one. And then two, I believe, no, this is one yard. One yard of this black trim right here. And again, you can also cut these into appliques as well, or just use it as is. All right, guys. So again, I have six of these lots, uh, $22.50 shipped, and they will go out on Monday. Just let me know. Email me, and um, it'll go out on Monday. Uh, it's PayPal only and U.S. only, in case I didn't say that earlier. All right. Thanks, everyone.